begin tonight with the big story. Theft, lies, and corruption. Alarming findings in the investigation into the Detroit Police Department's drug unit. Good afternoon. I'm Alan Campbell. And I'm Glenda Lewis. A probe into wrongdoing found some officers stole from drug dealers, planted drugs on suspects, and even lied to prosecutors to get search warrants. This is part of an investigation launched back in August. And that's when narcotics officer Michael Mosley was indicted on charges that he took a bribe from a drug dealer. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kersner spoke to Chief Craig, and Chief fears that this could be actually just the tip of the iceberg. You can call it cops on the tape, bribery. It's criminal. The police chief says the evidence so far, narcs were taking drug dealers' money, not arresting them turning them into confidential informants to be paid and embezzling that city money while continuing to put on the squeeze. The core focus is greed and money. The chief says the 20 dealers were found by going through 50 DPD computers. He says the dealers were surprised to be contacted, but were also okay with the narc shakedowns. It kept them in business. So that drug dealer is weighing cost of doing business. Okay, I might have lost a million but I still have two million. The other evidence gathered so far, false affidavits used to get search warrants and drugs planted. The potential ramifications are huge. One of the investigators on the case is a retired U.S. attorney. This could taint drug cases now and in the past with people convicted. In any given year, the Detroit Police Department investigates somewhere between 700 to 1,000 drug complaints. So... It's not every crew. That's what we're working through right now. The chief has brought in additional investigators from the FBI, state police, and others for a total of 17. And get this, they've set up a hotline for drug dealers, clean cops, and anyone with information about corruption to call in. As you are dealing with a community, a population, that generally is not going to tell. And that was Jim Kurtzman reporting. Now, if you would like to watch the full news conference with Chief Craig, just go to our website, wxyz.com.